Okay, because I can't get my GoPro to connect to my computer, I'll start off with a bunch of still pictures. And here you can see a pile of steel I got in to build the frame. Ah, gotta figure out how I can move these pictures. Ah, there we go. Okay. And here's the frame being welded up. What I did was put the two end rails, which are big L brackets, uh, three inch by two inch, I believe, or three by three, I guess. And I leveled them up at each end on each sawhorse. I made them exactly the same level and then just ran the rails down supported them and welded them welded them up to the end and you can see here i'm prepping the frame for welding in the tongue everything i did was it's basically similar to the ProLight Evasion we have. I thought it, the new trailer is going to be similar weight. Two feet longer, but very similar. So I figured that construction that they used would be better, would be more than enough. I used these individual torsion axles, stubs, stub axles basically. One left, one right. I had to buy, I bought these from Princess Auto. There was kind of a shortage of new axles available. There's the jack, eventually will go in. And now you can see I have notched the end plate at the front here. And then welded in the top partially welded in the tongue at this point. Here you can see the notching that was done. And I had to add a sawhorse so the whole thing wouldn't sag. And this is getting ready to weld on the support pieces for the axles. Here, flipping it over with the chain fall. And here you can see the tongue is welded in place mostly. You see carefully, you can see some side plates that are added and that stiffens it up and gives it extra support right where it meets the main frame rails. And here we're getting most of the support rails for the floor in. And I guess that's it for the still pictures. Now we'll go outside. Now you can see that the frame is mostly complete. I have to get a set of fenders. I want to weld them in place before I put the deck on. Let's see, we'll get some more light here. At any rate, what I'm doing right now is painting the bottom side was painted before I flipped it over and now I have to of course every time I paint I make a mess so I have to put the tarp underneath here's the chain fall that I used to grab it up by one side and flip it over and you can see it's 
Some extra reinforcement I put under here and welded another L bracket in place to prevent it from twisting on the side plate. As well, it's welded down in there. But on the one side, it was a little short, so I want, that's why, that's why I decided to add the extra L black bracket and weld it in place. As I had a little bit too much of a gap right there. I did manage to weld it together, but it's kind of blobby and I don't want to trust that. So we added the extra bracing. And as you can see, the axle stubs are in, installed. They're held on 5 8 inch bolts, grade 8 bolts. And you can see I doubled up on the L bracket. On this part that I thought that's where maybe the most pressure would be pushed on. And then I added an extra little brace to lock these two together and the plywood will sit right on top of that. And I don't think there'll be any problem. Once the weight is of the trailer is on these axles, this arm will run flat. So hopefully this will only be about 13 inches off the ground. Maybe a little less, I'm not sure. At any rate, I will carry on with my painting now. Hopefully in the next couple of days I'll get the fenders and start putting the deck on. Alright, thanks for watching.